Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and I've done a lot of these, the tough, tender, polycraft, and people love them. You know, up a creek up north, you get it behind your four wheel drive, you tow it somewhere, sneak into an estuary somewhere, sneak into a little creek, right? Now, I've got something special to show you. Have a look at this, because this is the most kitted out, toughy I've ever seen in my life. Right, it's gonna go out shortly. Now, 55 min coder. Okay, that's easy. Have a look at some of this up here, Dan. Have a look how we put do the fittings. Right, for the min coder, just plugs in, all Anderson plugs. Now we've gone, to keep things light, we've put a equivalent to a 100 amp hour lithium battery in there. These lithium batteries, so light, and they keep power. Unlike a lead acid, where they go like anything to start and then slow up, the lithium just keeps that going. Now, not only have we put the min coder in the lithium, we've got a Hummingbird 360 transducer at the front on a bracket that just comes down, drops into the water. Now, why would you want to do that? The 360 puts it out, like instead of the transducer just behind the boat. And what it allows you to do is map an area, but the big benefit is you can work out which way the fish are traveling. So if you, you know, you're up in an impoundment, there's an old creek there, and the fish are all coming from the back, you can cast out and get the jig the lure back in the direction the fish comes, so your lure's in the bite, bite zone for longer. That's pretty special. Then with the sounder they've done, is they've put a 12 inch Hummingbird Sonics in it. Now, what does that mean? It's one of the best sounders you'll ever use. I had one, I did a YouTube on one. Now, it's here, it's on a ram bracket, so it can move in all directions. You know, absolutely fantastic. Whether he's fishing in the back or the front or having a look, it can move or it can come out. Have a look how we fit this in. Here, Dan, have a look. All the wiring, have a look at this switch panel, Dan. This is how we do it at Brisbane Yamaha. We carve it out, we run all the wires up through the body, keep everything watertight and safe, you know? Beautiful work. It's got a, it's got a cigarette socket there, USB, so you can charge your phone, do things, you know? And then at the back, or even here, and uh, you lock, so you can get rod holders in here, you can put bait boards, these are cleats, he's put four of these in it. You know, then we've put a bit of Brisbane Yamaha because we've got that trim shop. We've put a couple of quality handmade custom seats. Battery at the back, which runs, which runs your motor because this is a 15 horsepower Yamaha. Dan will put the specs up for this. Electric start, push the button, off you go. You know, and then even here, look at this little Yamaha fuel filter we've put on it. A beautiful, beautiful thing. There's a bit of swarf back here. We haven't cleaned this one yet. You know, swarf coming out, battery at the back, run your electronics motor, easy to flush. I tell you, even up in the canals, smashing jacks under people's pontoons. What a wonderful little boat. Now, Justin Kelsey, operations manager, put this together with the customer. If you want to build a custom built boat, if you want to get a pocket rocket like this, toughy, call the team at Brisbane Yamaha, 3888 1727. We'll make your dreams a reality.